enjoy this. It's so good. This is one of the biggest cruises that I've been on for years. Oh, it's like every bloody car here I've owned at some point. Sick. <laughs> Perfect. It's one of the biggest scenes in the country. You joined me today at South Australia's best car event, and I don't take that with a grain of salt. This is Cars and Coffee Tonsley. It's a monthly get together of automotive enthusiasts. There's heaps of cars and bikes of all sorts of different vintages. You've got Euro stuff, Japanese stuff, Aussie stuff, American stuff. I actually used to run this event with a few mates, and today we're going to walk around, have a look at a few different cars and bikes that are here, catch up with some mates. My name's Pat, you're watching 2PJZ. Let's get stuck in. There's so much going on here already, which is lovely. But I've already seen a couple of mates over here. Look what we've got here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Yo, it's Bong Wafer. <laughs> How are you? Good. You're going well? So at Tonsley, you have the invitational area. We've got Kyle from the track yesterday. Pretty much you've got the two car parks back down over here, which we will check out shortly. But up here is more of a invitation. I say invitational, it's more of a you rock up. And if my mates and I really like your car, you get put up here. So there's some really cool stuff. So we'll have a quick look around. So we've got this awesome Lamborghini Huracan. So if you've been keeping up with me for a while, you know that I used to have the white Evo Tommy Mackin. And this is a red sticker pack TME, which is my ultimate Evo. Evo. I've said many times that my TME is the best car that I've ever driven. Not even just the best car I've owned, but just straight out best car I've ever driven. A red one is such a major goal of mine, but these go for such a huge amount of money now. And then you've got Tom's really nice STI, Bug Eye. So you've got obviously the Blob Eye STI, and then these are the Bugs, so it's got the round headlights. This one participates in the Avid Rally a lot, so it's got fully stripped out interior, a roll cage in the back, we've got detachable steering wheel, racing seats. And the best thing I think about this event is that there's heaps of variety, so there's something here for everyone. So like here you've got an old AC Cobra replica. You've got this really nice old Mazda, obviously R100, nice orange color, really cool. Then you've got another one, you always tell of old rotary cars, if it's got a little RE badge there, that means it's a rotary. Look how many people are here, so busy. Nice old G-body Porsche, similar to David's Porsche that we featured the other week. I love the G-bodies. Again, you can tell if it's a G-body, it's got the big protruding plastics at the end. We talk about that a lot. On the Over on the Instagram, we do a full explainer on different Porsches and which one's which, so go and check that out at 2PJZ if you haven't already. A nice Carrera CS, this beautiful SVJ. Events at all, these are mean. I love old 2002s, especially with the round tail lights. That's sick. A 964 Carrera 2, the two on the back here, standing for two-wheel drive. Over this way, you've got Beautiful, cool, outlaw style 356. Look at that. That is cool. Super cool. Love these old Porsches. Oh, yeah, I've got it back now. Hey, dog. Then um, this nice 924. I think this is a GT with the little hood scoop here. You've got the Apogee guys. So these guys we were at the track with yesterday. So they brought out a Toyota GT86 race car. There's a big racing presence for these in Australia. So a nice cover of bucket seats, stripped out interior, pure race car. And then you've got a V8 Super Ute next to it with an LS. So you can tell by just looking at the top of the engine there. Yeah, yeah, cool, thanks. Look how big and wide this is. Then just looking inside of it, you've got full stripped out interior again, obviously the race car. So we were up with the guys yesterday, they were looking after Kyle's car at the track, really light doors. So you have all, everything stripped from the door that you'd find on the normal car. So I don't mean to rush around too much today, but we're on a bit of a time schedule because we're heading to the hills with a few of some mates that own Evos that used to hang out with a lot back in the day. And you've got Jamie's RX-7. This is Jamie here. Good morning, Jamie. Hi. The Jamie's RX-7, the yellow Series 6. We pointed this out a little bit yesterday, but you can tell Series 6 by a sunroof. This is really nice. Some ZE40s on there as well. He's just done a whole lot to the interior of the car. And then really nice old Falcon here too. So there's plenty of stuff. It just doesn't matter what you're into. Even this, that's really sick. So this is just one car park so much around the place. And like I said before, the, my favorite thing about this event and what I used to love about running this event is that it brings out all sorts of people 
all sorts of cars. You can have, you know, a 12 year old kid talking to a 60 year old dude about his old Jag or whatever. And it's just really good for the car community. Probably, you know, I might be biased obviously because I used to like run this, but I definitely think it's the single best car event in South Australia. And having been to a few highball cars and coffees in Melbourne where I live now, yeah, this like the standard here is really, really cool. Cause you've just got an incredible variety of cars. A little bit of a backstory to this. This event used to be run at a different shopping center and the old organizers didn't want to run it anymore. So it was probably well over two years ago now. Uh, my mate Tom and I decided to bring it back. Like this car park will always be packed, particularly in the warmer months. It gets really, really busy. You can't find a park anywhere. But at times like now, it's a little bit easier because the weather's still a bit average. People are away on holiday and all that sort of thing. JDM front DC2R there. It's almost a little bit overwhelming just because there's so much to sort of pick out and try and feature around here. Then, as I said, you've got people who love the Aussie stuff. You've got a lot of crowns, very popular, obviously, in Australia now. Old Euro things like the C30. Oh, so many RX7s here. Look how nice this one is. Makes me miss my old one a lot, particularly seeing a white one. I really like white on older Japanese cars. That's nice. Original as, even has stock wheels, type RS wheels that the new owner Steven's got on my old one now that we featured at Sevens Day a few weeks ago. And then got two chasers over here. So as you know, I'm looking at a chaser to replace my E36 at the moment. So you've got this really nice pearl white one. And you can see the difference in both the cars with and without the factory lip kit. So this one, white one, doesn't have the factory lip kit on the front bumper, whereas this one does. I think it's so necessary. The one that I'm looking at doesn't have the factory lip kit, whereas this one does. Look at that. This one's really cool. And this one has, yeah, factory spoiler on the back. This one's just got a flat boot lid. And then you've got next to it, this really, really cool Mazda NB MX-5 SE. So the SE, if you ever see one of these out and about, these came with a factory turbo. And then we'll head over to this car park over here because there's a whole lot more to point out. But as I said, we've got to do it really quickly and I hope you're just enjoying getting a little bit of a taste about what SA car culture is like because there are heaps of car enthusiasts in SA. It's one of the biggest scenes in the country. Just people love their cars here. It's so much easier to drive around here than it is where we live now in Melbourne. Oh yeah. Type X, 180SX, an R32 GTR, and some bronze TEs. Makes me sad. I feel like every buddy car here I've owned at some point. Now, it's because I've been caught up talking, there's a few cars now that have left, but there is some cool stuff over here. You've got Henry's S2000, a nice Evo 8 on some BBS LMs, Malou, and then check this out. My God, seeing this makes me really sad. This is on some Desmond Rager Masters. It's a Bathurst R. As I pointed out when we filmed Sevens Day, if you're unsure what a rare RX-7 is, or if it's a rare RX-7, you always come and check the back here, because most of the Series 8s particularly will have some form of sticker on the back. Some of the Series 6s and 7s have it too. But that's the Bathurst R, really cool bonnet as well. See if you can see in there, directly down into a V-mount intercooler. R34 GTR. V-spec on some SSRs, SP3s, I think. And then, <laughs> hello, Brad. Nice IS2000. Alteza, Alteza sorry. Alteza. <laughs> and then over here, you've got beautiful S15 with uh, aero kit on some R34 GTR stock wheels, I think this is. And then my mate Anthony's DC2 Integra Type R. Also, I have no idea what the difference is between uh, a Lexus IS200 and an Alteza. Is it just the tail lights? I feel a bit bad. I pointed out someone's IS2000 or Alteza as an IS2000 before. Whoopsies. And Adam's FL5. At the track in last week's video, you see that we went on with Ben's FL5 Type R, which was awesome. And then green E36. This is owned by Matt, who I spoke to before. No more E36s for me for a little bit, sometime soon, but not for now. Crown Hybrid, like I used to own. Well, if you want to buy one of these, they're great, but just watch out for the batteries. That's my one word of advice. I didn't watch out for the battery. And of course, like knowing my luck, it just went. Love S2000 so much. I really want one, particularly after test driving the Honda Accord Euro R that I saw the other week. And S2000 is really appealing. I just, I've, I'm really into Hondas now. <laughs> I mean, I had my Dell Soul, so I've always sort of been into them, but having driven more and more, yeah, becoming more apparent that I really need one in my life. Heaps of people leaving now, probably to head out for a cruise around the hills. The Adelaide Hills are very, probably like a 20, 30 minute drive from here. So it's not too far. So I love this one. This is a Sora, Z20 Sora. I think these are really cool. I always wanted one of the aero cabin ones that sort of have the roof that comes off the back, but these are some of the best sort of peak old Toyotas I think you can get. 
as there's a well-loved R32 GDR rolling by. Look at that, that's massive. What the hell? Some big stuff here. Oh, it's 1JZ as well. So these didn't come with a 1JZ from factory, but a lot of people swap them in, which I really like. My brother's CE Lancer. I used to daily this for a while. And over here, you've got a Mark II Grande, I think. So this is a non-turbo 1JZ. That's for sale, if you want to check that out. And get a picture of the phone number if you want to, someone wants to buy this. <laughs> oh, no, okay, don't worry. He's already bought it. <laughs> and then you've got that. Don't really know what's going on there. So it's DC5 Type R on some Desmond Rager Masters. How nice is that? One of the best wheels you can get, I think, for Hondas. That is sick. Look at that. White wheels, red car. Sick. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Check this out. That is nice. All right, if anyone watching this has got 85K and you want one of the toughest Commodores you can buy, take a screenshot of that. You know, it's got racing pedigree. Love that blue. That is such an iconic color for Australian cars. If you're watching this in America, you probably won't have never seen anything like that before. So it is very cool. Real staple of Australian automotive culture, that car. White Evo TME. Oh, two more Sauras. Oh, this was, we just pointed this one out, but it's moved. Now it's got the engine up. How good. One J Sora, we love that. That is sick. <laughs> and how, they're nice and black as well. Look at the fitment on that one. Hell yeah. Man, these are so cool. I want one of these so bad. So badly. So good. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. This is, buddy. This is a Mitsubishi Evo 1. You never see these anymore. That is sick. On these OZ racing wheels, the red sticker. It's got some Recaro confettis. Oh man, that is so clean. I didn't see this before, but how cool is that? Got one vent on the bonnet. That is super, super cool. Maroon ISF, I'd love one of these. That's a really nice color. Naturally aspirated V8, of course, in the ISF. Oh God, I wish I could afford one right now to replace the E36, but sadly it's still just a little bit too out of reach for now, but maybe maybe in the future. This is what we're jumping in to head up to Eagles. I haven't seen on the new wheels yet. This is Brad's Evo 8. Just recently put Evo 9 bar on, fresh paint. I'd come around the front quickly. Before we go, Evo 9 front bar, Grand Prix plate. Let's go. Thank you. I haven't been in an Evo for a very, very long time. This is gonna be good. So now we've stopped for a bit of fuel. We can walk around Brad's car a little bit more. And particularly in the shade, look how nice the black paint looks. All completely fresh. The Evo 9 bar really changes. This CT9A chassis, I think it's such a necessary mod. And you can tell poking through the grill here is a Plasma Man intercooler in black, which is super sleek. And then some weds. Look at these TC105X wheels. A few little gauges and things, rally art shift knob. Oh man, I've preferred the CP9A chassis because I used to have my TME, but I love these a lot. Now I think that looks so so good. So keen to rip through the hills. I haven't been anything this quick for a very long time. On 98, I think this runs about 250 kilowatts and on E85, it's well over 300. So it's gonna be very intense. Definitely rip my face off a little bit, but how good is this? High boost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that is nuts. It's been so long since I've been in something this fast. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been on Eagle on the Hill. <laughs> so this road used to be the old freeway before the new one was made. It's one of the best nice open driving roads that you can get to very close to the city here in Adelaide. And it's a perfect road for an Evo as I used to find out in my <laughs> Evo Tommy Mackinac. So I'm keen as for this. coming. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of them. 14. 14. My God. 
We have made it. This is one of the biggest cruises that I've been on for years. Here we've got a whole bunch of mates and we'll walk through all of the cars very quickly before we set off. But look, it goes all the way up the back here. So we've got Chris's red sticker pack Evo TME. This thing is nice. He spent a lot of money upgrading this car. Just looks perfect. Real OEM Plus type build. You can see OEM, OMP wheel, Billy's DC5 Type R on some TEs and then CE28s on the back. I think this is a turbo MX-5. Tony's black RX-7 with some brides that he's just chucked into it. And how good is this? Initial D fanboys go hard. This is a A86 Trino, Black Evo 5. God, I love Black Evo 5s, particularly on some TEs that looks so nice. Del Sol, Nathan <laughs> brought this Del Sol out. I used to love the Del Sols, used to have one as you know. The Evo 6, another Evo 5 on some white TEs. New GR Corolla on some Rays. These look really aggressive. Have a look at that from back here. Really, really cool cars, these. Very, very cool. Civic, R32 GTS 4. Got Brad's Evo, obviously, that we just came up in. Yellow Evo 9. Really, really nice R32 GTR. Gunmetal grey, same as my old one. And it's got a baby seat in the back. So good. <laughs> New FL5 Type R in Championship White next to Anthony's DC Tour. Championship White, best colour on Hondas. Hello again. Then we've got the Altezas. Well, that's an IS200. That's an Altezza. Is it? Yeah. I have to get them to pop the bonnet on this later. That's cool. Got the Hondas, I30N and an M3. So there's heaps of cars. I don't even know how many there are but probably upwards of i'll say just by looking like 20 cars let's come up here and have a little bit of a look oh my god <laughs> wow there you go that's a good panning shot imagine as we got up that is awesome yeah show them everyone back home in melbourne how it's done that's how we do it in adelaide at david <laughs> oh nice that's so good i think it's time now that we get off this hill and jump in the cars and go for a bit of a drive you're going to enjoy this boost leak <laughs> he's got a new intercooler on so we're not sure what it is 
We'll have a look at the, is it the piping? Oh, 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 that was sketchy. <laughs> arrived at our little meetup point. Hope you enjoyed a few of those driving shots. Driving behind that R32 GDR made me awfully sad. <laughs> but now we can probably check out a few of the cars in a little bit more detail. This is David's Evo 9. I thought the wheels were black when I first saw them, but they're blue. They actually look pretty good. Yeah, again? yeah I like it. And Something it's, different. Uh, 265, no scrubbing whatsoever. Bloody hell. Nice fitment as well. That's flush. Here's Joe's Evo. Yeah. <laughs> IS200 has got a 1J in it, as we mentioned before. Look at all the cars, how nice is that? That shot there, beautiful. So Gorge Road is very, very famous. One of, if not the most famous and most visited driving roads here in South Australia. You've got this really good spot overlooking the dam where you just pull up, there's a little rest area and then you can watch cars. Often a lot of motorbikes will zoom through here and all sorts of cars. So it's a good spot just to catch up, sort of take a bit of a break after you've just been around uh, doing a cruise through the hills and a good spot for us to sort of chill and have a look at what we've got come straight to the top here check out chris's car beat rush shifter we've got white rally out shift knob omp steering wheel like those mirrors wrc mirrors oh this is perfect look how clean that interior is oh man looking at the back of this i think we miss mine a lot like a lot a lot but i absolutely want to buy one of these as soon as i've got the funds available red tme and if i don't have the funds available for a red tme a white evo 5 which we also have here which is very handy <laughs> this one's got a really nice carbon front lip as well and white t37 sls with a you got a little carbon extension on the side skirt and on the back so it complements the whole car and goes all the way around really cool you can see the back of that a bit more it's so good evo 8 on some gold BBS 11s with a silver lip. What do you reckon about that? You don't see these too many on Evos. It's nice for something different as opposed to just the Rays. Then yellow Hondas, particularly EKs, yellow EK, just perfect. Very nicely done with some Koenigs. And Tony, this is shooting huge flames before. Very, very richly tuned 13B in this car. Burnt that exhaust tip is. <laughs> Turbo NAM X5 and Anthony's DC2. You don't have to look very far around the place to find that people rate the Honda DC2 Integra Type R as the best driver's Honda of all time. I'd like to be able to put that to the test. I think it would be cool to find out. But you can see like these new GR Corollas are such a big car for a Corolla. They're so wide, particularly compared to the DC2, which is quite a small car. You've got this wild exhaust setup as well. And then nice little run around Del Sol. I used to, I mean, look at the gear shifter. Uh, <laughs> and then this is nice. It's one JZ powered Alteza. Oh, sorry, IS200. This is super cool on the BBS. That's what I mean. It's like bikes and stuff flying around all the time. Yeah, really like this dark blue. One JZ, BBS, AMR wheels. Very, very cool little package. Would go really hard too. Black Evo 5. You should let me know if you prefer the black or a white Evo 5. I had the white Tommy Mackinac, so I'm a bit biased, but every time I see a black one, it makes me really excited, particularly with a carbon wing blade like this one's got on it. Have a chat, see what everyone's up to. So if you've been watching 2PJZ, don't forget to like this video if you want to see more. Comment on what your favorite car was today or something you want to see more of in the future when I come back to Adelaide. And remember to subscribe to the channel so I can bring you better and more interesting car content. Stay driven, we'll see you next time.